Welcome back to the Chef Talk Podcast, episode seven. We seven. We'll find those things off. All right, we're gonna Yo, be talking we're about. Flying these episodes. <laughs> <laughs> Last episode got a little walkie talkie. Yeah, just a little bit, just a little bit. At the end, we'll make sure like you guys keep tuning in. We're gonna keep getting better. Yeah. Because we're learning. But um, this uh, episode, we're gonna be talking about how to improve your eating habits. Mm-hmm. And starting with basically protein, like I said, how, uh, how to hit your daily protein intake. Um, and we have, like I said, we have tools to help you do that. We're going to dive into a couple of those. And we're also going to be talking about um, quick go-to meals. And I got those things for you. Chef your diet got those things for you. All right. We get that body by chef Perks. moving and grooving. I'm dating the chef. We here. <laughs> Then we're also going to be giving you guys a update on all each child care. All right. What we got going on, where we're at in the process, how things are going to be looking. Right. <laughs> we're going to be getting it. OK. Oh, excuse me. On life alert over here. Um, well, we'll edit that out. <laughs> um, but let's start with. All right. How to um, hit your daily protein intake. Um, this is going to help a lot of people out just for this year, um, to, to hit your goals, how to transform your body. If you understand this concept. Right. And I want to throw in that hitting your protein intake is probably the hardest thing to do. Like when it comes to fitness in general. Yes. And, but I, when you have someone like me, I, a chef and a nutritionist, I make it easy. So what I like to do and educate people on when you're trying to improve your eating habits, we always start with focusing on hitting your daily protein intake and then also staying hydrated, hitting your water intake for the day. Mm -hmm. I tell people to typically start off with um, 32 to 64 ounces of water. So that's a half a gallon, um, 64 uh, 64 ounces. Um, if you can't hit a gallon, do that. Like I said, flush that system out, uh, replenish that body, keep those muscles hydrated. But how do we keep those muscles fueled and um, repairing our body while, like I said, we break it down with our new workout routine? Um, and I promise you, if you just focus on these two things, just to improve, like I said, start off the improving your eating habits, you're going to see significant results. Mm-hmm. So how much protein do you think you should be eating? How much? Mm-hmm. Well, I know the answer. <laughs> so, did you want me to give my actual educated guess, or do you want me to give, like, a person that wouldn't necessarily know? This is bef- before you knew what you knew. Oh, before I knew what I knew, um, I would honestly, well, I didn't even really think about protein. <laughs> you eating a lot of carbs. You was carbon it up. Yeah, I would say so, probably, because, I mean, yeah, pro- like, what we were watching earlier today, like, unless it's a protein drink, most protein you do have to, like, cook. Yeah. And facts. Facts. <laughs> in fact, <laughs> no, and, and, um. Back in the day, I definitely wasn't cooking and doing stuff like I am now, so I, I didn't even think protein had a number to it. <laughs> and the, the funny part is, um, you're definitely probably majority of people probably think like that. You're like, I ain't got time to cook that. Like I said, so I make it very simple. So um, if you're just starting off, the, the most basic way to start off when it comes to how much protein you should be eating is a gram per pound or a half a, um, a, half a gram uh, per pound. So, a no, gram. yeah, a gram, sorry, a gram per half a pound or a gram per per pound for whatever your goal weight is. So whatever your goal weight is, so say if you were uh, 180 pounds and your goal was to get to 160, you want to eat 160 grams of protein or uh, 60, uh, 60, no, 90 grams of protein. Eight, Eight, yeah, 90. Yeah, 90. Whoa, yeah, you're dead. Come on, come on, come on. Talk about math earlier. You don't want to get me started. But yeah, so... If you wanted to, like I said, get to, um, you was uh, 180 pounds, and you want to get to 160, you would eat 160 grams of protein. Mm-hmm. Try to hit that 
every day or hit half of that each day. I always recommend using nutrition trackers for at least two to four weeks, tracking your eating habits. Uh, If you don't, you're flying blind, like I told my clients. You don't know what you're doing. You say, why is my body not changing? You're probably not eating enough. I am. I eat all the time. (laughs) Until you track it, you don't know how much you're eating. And that's why we have the Body by Chef app. Make sure you go download that (laughs) right now. We have a 14-day free trial um, where you can, like I said, it comes with a workout program, all right? A 14-day workout program. And you also have um, available to use a nutrition tracker. Um, and then I'm giving away um, a free 10-day smoothie cleanse in that 14 days to get you on track. Um, after that, it is only $19.99 a month. Holy $19.99 per month. Talk about a bargain. Oh, my God. Uh, right? Need that. Um, and it help you get you where you need to go. Especially I have in this day and age, facts. Need that. Need that. Like I said, we all about the deals, deals, deals. I have a 14-day hit workout that you can try out. I have a 14-day build a booty program that you can try out. And I also have a 14-day ab and core workout that you can try out with the nutrition, tracking your protein. And then whatever you do, I can see on my end to help you and guide you um, to hitting your daily protein intake. That's probably like my favorite thing about your app is your little... Facts. Nutrition part of it comes in comes in real handy dandy, and like I said, I give out recipes and stuff like that to help you hit that protein. And honestly, I don't know. I've I've downloaded or bought like a couple of like fitness Instagram fitness workout programs that like have had their own app, and I've never came across someone that had like the nutrition aspect to that's it. a fact i feel like all of them just have like a whole bunch of like workout videos it's just, yeah like I, I mean i wouldn't say their apps are like terrible but they're it's just strictly just like workout it's either it's a little work, bit of nutrition yeah like they but, can be like a little but it's like tips it's tip. just like it's not yeah something you like you can track you it yeah track exactly yeah. It's and not you can like you have to use and, another app to uh, my app you can put food items in there recipes that you make mm-hmm. i can put recipes in there vid- follow along videos in there it's dope like i said i love my app like i said go download that body by chef app and if you use or if you're um familiar with like my fitness pal i feel your app is very similar to yep this is very scan true scan things same thing in my fitness pal you can add or you can add your own food in there and put in all the um, nutrition facts in there so it calculates correctly and your app does that too so I think that's pretty yep pretty and I, like I said I can see you on my end keep you accountable help you out like chef I'm not help, I'm having a hard time hitting my protein and this is where we lead on to the next segment alright so alright now we know we need to hit at least a gram per pound um, for protein of our goal weight how do we get that you still might think 160 grams is a lot it is so, <laughs> to put things in context, it is. So, three to four ounces of chicken is somewhere between 20 and 30 grams of protein. Mm-hmm. All right. So, we know, we know that four, four ounces, let's say four ounces of chicken is 30, 30 grams. Okay. Let's start with the beginning of the day. We're going to break the day apart. So, typically, your smoothies, the, 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 whether they're to-go ones or you make a, the powder one on your own, it's typically around 20 to 25 grams of protein, unless, like I said, you're using like a, um, a muscle mass gainer or something like that, a, a, a weight gainer one, mm-hmm. where it's like 30 grams. I mean, depending on what your what protein you use, if you're putting protein in your smoothies, like that's going to obviously change how much, because there's... There's a scoop of protein that could be 25 grams of protein, and then there's mass gainers that are like 15, 50 yeah. grams of protein in one scoop. So it really depends on. So we're going to keep protein. it simple, all right? We're going to use the new, um, um, new, actually we're going to use the own, the own plant-based one, um, and that <laughs> one's 20 grams. Mm, I think it's 25 actually. 25, so 25 so. grams. I'm all right. Sure. So let's say we have a own smoothie in the morning time. Um, that's 25 grams. We have a, a salad for lunch with four ounces of chicken, um, with a little bit of brown rice with it. 
like um like a taco salad. I say that I say that's thirty grams. Just in those two meals, you're already at quick math. Fifty five. There you go. You're already at fifty five grams of protein halfway through your day. Just from a protein shake, a little smoothie in the morning time, and then a um chicken taco salad at um what's it called in the after afternoon or your lunch break. I have a little tip for protein or smoothies. And if you don't have protein, fun fact, egg whites and smoothies make a difference. I think it... Well, guess what? They actually have egg white protein powder. They do. I use it. And they, act- and they, have, <laughs> and they have the liquid version, too. The liquid ones, um, it's a very popular brand. They make, like, flavored egg whites, which is... Sounds gross, but a lot of people say it's tasty. No, I, I there was a for a good amount of time I was using protein powder because I, you know, protein powder can be expansive. Um, so I was using less of my protein powder and more of egg whites in my smoothies to hit my protein intake because I mean egg whites hold a lot of protein. This is true. This is true. Protein. A lot of protein. Um, so you have that. You already have fifty-five grams. Um, and you need it, um, like I said, 160. So we need about a hundred and five, yeah, 105. So you can have snacks in between your days. You can have another protein shake. That's 20, that's 20 grams right there or 25 grams. That puts you at, uh, puts you at eight, uh, 80. Yeah. That puts you at 80. Because, yeah, I'm not tripping. All right, that puts you at 80. That puts you at 80 grams. All right, so you're halfway through. And you know what's great about apps? You see how we're doing all this mental math in our head? Right, the app does it for you. The Body by Chef app does it for you. You And you can scan stuff in, too. You can scan it in, boom, it's in there. So you have that. Um, So we have a protein shake, protein pack, nice sticks, Extra, extra juicy protein shake <laughs> in the morning. We have a chicken taco salad in the after uh, for for lunch. Um, Mid afternoon, or like I said, about to go to the gym or something. You have another protein shake, and then you go to the gym. Like I said, go do your workout. Uh, after your workout, you have a nice high protein meal, probably four to six ounces of protein. Like chick- let's say chicken. Let's say six ounces. We eat a little bit more for a lot of even snake, uh, uh, even uh, meal, all right, or a post workout meal. Um, we do, like I said, six ounces of chicken. We're at like 40 grams of, of protein. That puts us at 80. We were at 80. Before. Yep, 80 plus 40 is 120. <laughs> <laughs> so. My head's not you right. You right. Use the app. Download the app. Um, so that puts us at one. That puts us at one twenty. All right. So we can finish the, the 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 night off basically with that just that meal. We got a we got a little bit more than half of our intake. If you want to guarantee to hit your uh protein your daily protein intake, you have to start the morning with more protein. So you got to start the morning with at least thirty to 40 grams of protein. How do you do that? You do that with, like I said, uh, now leads us to the next segment. Go to meals. So go to in the meal in the morning time for for me to get in uh, 40 to 50 grams of protein shake. I either do um, um, a protein um, for protein source. I do two uh, premier protein shakes or I do two muscle milks um, or one muscle milk because they have a muscle milk that's 40 grams. Mm -hmm. Um, or I do, like I said, two of the own protein shakes. When it comes to food, I do turkey bacon, turkey sausage, um, oatmeal, um, egg whites, scrambled eggs, omelet. Uh, and like I said, you, you do those, you do those couple things. Like I said, you get a nice. And we're talking, we, I feel like we've been adding like, uh, the base protein, but you also have to remember like. If you're eating salad, if you're 
eating uh, yeah, oatmeal. You, it, the, all the all these other things also have protein in them too. It's not as much as like chicken as a, yeah. and all the meats that you're getting your like main source of protein from, but like all your vegetables and stuff also have a little bit of protein in it. So you can like give or take five to ten grams of protein adding on to I feel yeah, whatever. This is true. Are. This is true. And then when it comes to like I said, uh lunch, I try to do um some of my quick go to meals, like when I'm in prep, I'm um, getting ready for a show or I'm trying to transform my body, whatever competition, basketball or whatever it is. Um, I do bowls. I love bowls. Whether it's chicken bowl, bacon bowls, ground turkey bowl, taco bowl, you <laughs> bowl, bowl me up. Fajita Basically bowl. Basically, put Greek anything bowl. in a bowl and call it a bowl. And Fact. That's it. Bust it down. Yeah. And, but I make mine look pretty because I am a chef. <laughs> so I add, like I said, I add the colors in there, I add the sweet potatoes in there. Some green veggie vegetable. I put some salsa in there. I go crazy. Like my favorite one at Healthy Bites. Shout out to Healthy Bites is the turkey bacon sweet potato bowl. Fire. Really brown rice. Uh, yeah, ha a half a cup of brown rice, a quarter cup of sweet potatoes, uh, a, a cup of ground turkey um, or ground beef. She does either. Um, just and she does like a blend sometimes. Spinach, uh, a little bit of turkey bacon uh, strips, and a little bit of uh, reduced uh, shredded shredded cheese, mm -hmm. shredded cheddar cheese. Bust down fire, something like that. Um, for the morning time, breakfast bowls. Um, you do a nice like I said, egg egg white, sweet potato. Turkey sausage or turkey bacon with a little bit of salsa. Shh. Quick, right there. Quick, go to. Um, you could do an oatmeal bowl oatmeal. with some pro protein That's powder in it. Boom. Food. Some sliced bananas, some sliced strawberries, mm -hmm. blueberries. Boom, right there. Look, look I'm little, giving you a game. A little drizzle of that peanut butter. Butter, make peanut it look butter, pretty. almond butter. Ugh. I mean, look, look, we're giving you a free game right now. Um, so I love, um, which, uh, what else? Uh, bowls. And then, like I said, you can di you can di you can diverse bring some culture in it. You got you could do a Greek bowl. Like I said, you could do uh, um, some Tuscan chicken with some with some white rice, um, some spinach, a little tzatziki sauce in there. Boom, Greek Greek bowl. Um, do a Mexican bowl. Do fajita bowl, steak bowl. You literally can make a bowl out of anything. anything. Think of a meal, and I bet you could make a bowl out of it. And stay tuned. We're going to be dropping recipes on y'all. So we're going to be putting, like I said, uh, all these stuff that I'm saying. I'm actually working on a cookbook. Stay tuned. Y'all getting, like I said, a lot of gems. I'm working on a cookbook right now um, where it's going to be quick go-to meal prep uh, that you can do at home. Go to a grocery store. Mm -hmm. Very, very uh, inexpensive. A lot of the meals, like I said, I had to make because of how I was raised. Like I said, being a college student, still wanted to put on muscle while I was playing basketball, um, but not having the money all the time. And finding these foods that are high in protein and fulfilling um, meals that taste good. Like I said, we ain't making no trash meals over here. Um, I don't know who need to tell you, but I'm gonna tell you right now: eating healthy is doesn't taste. Uh, 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 doesn't. It's not supposed to taste bad. It's not supposed to be uh, 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 right unenjoyable. Just eating to it eat. It's supposed to be enjoyable. It's supposed to be palatable. And then everybody's palate is different. Everybody's taste buds are different. It's just you understanding what works best for you. Those are some of the meals that work best for me. Like I said, you heard some of the stuff that works best for her. Um, and it's my job, as like I said, as a chef uh, and a personal trainer and nutritionist, is to guide you on that. Mm -hmm. And I'm able to do that. Shout out to the Body by Chef app. Um, we can, like I said, I can put on recipes in there. I can put things on there. You can follow along. Get you right where you need to be. Big and fat. then, like I said, end of the night meals, uh, um, I would like to do probably, like I said, some steak and like some vegetables, um, steak. low carb, yeah, like li a low carb, uh, um, high protein meals to end out my night. Just for like I said, digest some problems to digest your food properly at night, not, not late night like, snacking. Like I said, eating heavy meals. So like I said, steak or like some zucchini, uh, steak and some like sweet potatoes, um, or, or green beans, asparagus, and some like I said, some uh, some salmon. Stuff like that, like I said, real, real simple mm -hmm. to help you hit your protein goals. All right. Um, I mean, I think, and 
for people that aren't meat eaters, um, there's also other ways to get protein in there as well. Facts. That, is, that doesn't come from a, an animal. Yeah, um, and bowls, bowls is going to do that for you. Like I said, bowls are going to do that, especially if you're vegan, uh, vegetarian, uh, mm-hmm. plant-based, whatever, whatever you are, uh, you don't eat meat. Um, understanding uh, what are going to be the high protein sources when it comes to uh, vegetables, any lagoons, all right, which is beans, nuts. Beans, beans, right? the musical fruit. Um, green leafy vegetables have a high protein source, uh, or a protein source, I can't say high, a good amount of protein um, in them, if you did not know. Like I said, the kale, spinach, green beans, broccoli, broccoli rob, you name it. Like I said, I could go on. I could fry out. I am a chef. Mm. <laughs> so those st- sources like that. Quinoa, um, uh, grains have, like I said, a good protein source in it. Brown rice, uh, um, uh, peas. Um, I'm not, I don't eat this. Nor, I don't even know if I've tried Brown it. rice, yeah. Isn't, doesn't tofu have protein in it? Yeah, tofu. Uh, I don't eat it, but um, I, I, know, I do see a lot of people that are like vegan or vegetarian. They 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 love tofu. Yeah, those, tofu. Those square sponges. You said uh, <laughs> uh, cauli- cauliflower. Um, what else? Um, lion's mane. That's like a, it's like a, a form of. What did you say? Lion's mane. It's like, like a not not like rule. Yeah, not that's a lot. No, head. it's an actual vegetable. It's like it's it's similar to like a. It's in like it's similar like in the, the like the. Putting say, me onto something new. Lion's mane. Yeah, it's like a. How do you say it? It's more like a fun, uh, like a, like a mushroom type of look to it. You find it? Oh, it, it is a mushroom. Yeah, it's a mushroom. See, I, look, I know my stuff. Yo, listen, shout out to Jay Wu, man. <laughs> shout out to Johnson. Also, shout out to Monroe College, too, because I, I, I did get a degree with them, too. Um, uh, so, yes. Oh, it has a lot of benefits to it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Lion's mane is good because a lot of people are cooking with it Not now. Not going to lie. The, I understand why it's called the lion's mane. Yeah. I, I, they make it look appetizing. I know they, it look a little walkie-talkie <laughs> over there. <laughs> yeah, a, I'm not, I don't like any kind of mushroom, so any mushroom would I'd be making the same face. This one it does look a little bit more like it looks like an animal. Yeah, it, it, it looks furry. Facts. It's <laughs> hair like a lion, hence yeah. the name. Yeah. So, um, like I said, there's those are some things or some meals. Like I said, they hit your daily protein intake, and if you need help with it. I guess so we are, we're both doing online coaching um, to get you where you need to be to help you unlock the best you. Because remember, we want the best you. Um, you can download the Body by Shop. Also in the link below, um, so you can click on it. And right now we have our 14-day free trial right now. You can try it out. And after that, it's only subscribe for $19.99 a month. Or we also do one-on-one coaching. If you want to, like I said, you need that accountability, you need that extra help, that extra push, you need a, a program designed for specifically for you, uh, you can work for myself or Sydney Suites. Um, just, like I said, download the app, mm-hmm. and we will uh, and message us. You can message us directly from the Body by Chef app and let us know which one you want to work with. And we'll guide you where you need to be so we get you on the call. Uh, we have our program is... Three to six months. We also offer nine months to a year if, like I said, you're really committed and you need that help in hand. Um, now, we're going to give you a little update on um, the All Eats Child Care as we come to the end, like I said, wrapping up this episode. Um, so, where are we at with the All Eats Child Care? So when we first started up All East Child Care, it was up uh, up north in Mass in, uh, at my fitness studio. And it, I, I um, thought of it, um, I was working with kids first b- before I did the All East Next Gen where I did like a kid center. It was like an after school, similar like an after school program. Um, went very well. The kids were loving. Like I said, we were going, to, the, we, was going we was taking trips. We was having, like I said, we was having a blast. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, it did not, um, the way it was set up, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't designed to go the distance in that specific area. Unfortunately, um, the pit, the kids love it, but the parents are very inconsistent. So, which pivoted me to taking next gen and using it more as a nonprofit. 
Um, so I still do, like I said, a lot of work with kids uh, when it comes, like I said, at school, going into the schools, um, sponsoring kids, like at summer camps and stuff like that. Ultimate goal with the next gen would be, a, uh, like I said, open up another kid center again. But right now, we pivoted to the all oh, child care. So I f- felt like there was a need for um, moms um, when it comes to working out. They needed someone to walk. I had a lot of clients saying, oh, if I had somebody to watch my kids, I'll work out. Da, 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 da. We go, all right, we got you. We, um, let's call it, I talk with Sid. I say, hey, what would you like? What would you think of doing uh, child care? Um, up there, I went to the early, um, the EEC. So, yeah, so early child care. Um, yeah, early, yeah, early child care. Early education. Yeah, early education, child care. Yeah, E E C. Yeah, so yeah. So I went I went my to that is now shut off. I hope you realize. Facts. Now I'm my fault. That's why I got you. Take you to the promised mm-hmm. land. So I went to them, I went to the head, I talked to the people, I will I'll find out what certifications, what what stuff I need to to do to have it in my fitness studio and be able to do um basically like a uh a drop off or drop in ch- child care. Um, service for my clients while they work out. Um, hence, all uh, child care. We also wanted my ultimate goal is to have a di- a daycare. Um, I found out that is something that she sh- we both shared um, that we would like. Um, and my passion for basically child care comes from I come from a big family. I come from a family of thirteen. Same mother, same father. I watched what my mom, like I said, her put her body through to bring us my big self <laughs> to this earth um and i understand i have like i said a very big passion when it comes to moms and helping them get back to where they go and transforming their body and now i'm like i said i have the platform and i have the resources to really really help families and help parents um grow and like i said i see myself like i said being a father real soon um and i feel like this is going to be a, this is a fun journey to start like i said with a child care um, so where we're at now with all these child care, we're now introducing, um, or adding on Sydney Suites, nanny and babysitting services. Mm-hmm. So we just added that on. We're basically finished up with the packages, um, what we're going to offer. So we're going to offer basically nanny services, um, nanny share, um, and then baby babysitting. We're going to start off with that. And obviously, the ultimate goal is, like I said, to get to a daycare. And um, we'll say, like I would say, within the next two to three years, get to a daycare. Because yeah. we do plan on, like I said, starting a family. Um, not pretty soon, but <laughs> we plan on starting a family. And we need to be able to transfer that to a facility where um, we have employees now. And like I said, she's just a head teacher there. And like I said, comes in and makes sure the paperwork is good. We have, like I said, we have a nice, solid team. But we're starting off with the nanny services. And we're also going to, like I said, able to put a like I said, little spin with it. I am still a personal private chef. So coming into the people's homes and cooking for their kids, if, if I need to, I'm making, like, meal prep. And, like I said, she's able to help me. Like I said, my wife, whether it's washing the kids. Or we can get the kids involved. Mm-hmm. Like I said, have fun with it. Like I said, do kick, cooking lessons. My boy actually out in L.A., I see him definitely do that. Um in LA so that's a, uh, a very dope um, to watch him he cooks for uh, Matthew Stratford which is the LA Rams uh, um, quarterback so I see him cooking with their uh, kids all the time he's basically a nanny and a chef at the same time because I dope. see him all the time playing with them so that, that's that's dope so if I see someone else doing it we definitely I have a chance of doing that um, and before this camera shuts off All right, we back, we back. Get in there, get in there. Yay. All right. All right, now I'm back. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, so um, we're definitely going to be, uh, like I said, now doing off- or offering nanny and babysitting services. And who knows, we could be traveling nanny. Like I said, we could, it can get big. If you, right. it's, it's all, like I said, depending on what clients we get. Um, and we're basically going to start taking on uh, applications for families in the area. 
We already got a plug. We already got a plug in. That's why I moved down here because I already knew I was going to get plugged in fast. Shout out to my uh, my older sister. Um, so she's going to be plugging us in with uh, some of the families um, and her basically where she live at in the houses um, that she lives at. Community. community, yeah, the community she lives in. And I live up the street for her, so it's like I said, very convenient. Mm-hmm. And then also, um, right now where we're living at. Um, they are doing something with the small businesses where you can they, they can promote you and promote your business. So we can, uh, like I said, offer our services to all the residents that live within our community mm-hmm. across the street. So um, we're, like I said, we're really plugged in. very excited for this. Like I said, we have the packages done. Um, the next step, I think, like I said, um, is basically, like I said, getting the LLC all set up down here for NC. Like I said, getting the EIN number, the bank account, and so I start getting those families flooding in. So by the end of this week, we're going to be metro booming. <laughs> you heard? <laughs> How you feeling, though? Me? You excited? You very oh, excited? Oh, I'm super. I, look, no, no excitement is on my face because I'm a very much so tired girl, but I am very <laughs> excited. I do love this kind of work. I do love children. Um, so I am super excited, especially because I get to kind of dabble in a whole different realm of children now because I'm in a different area, different people, different vibe, yeah, no, no, vibe, just Absolute. kinda, Absolute. everything's just different and I'm just very excited. Facts, you ready? So like I guess I'll be coming to you. That's an update for all these childcare, um, Stay tuned. We got more for you guys. Make sure, like I said, you guys download the Body by Chef app if you need, like I said, assistance on unlocking the best version of yourself, transforming your body, improving your health, whatever it is, we can help you get you where you need to go. Mm-hmm. Then if you're in the North Carolina, uh, uh, Raleigh area, the Triangle area, um, we're now, like I said, taking on clients um, or families um, in the area. Mm-hmm. So you can head over to our website, alleachllc.life. And uh, fill out our uh, application. Like I said, we take a look, and we look forward to working with you. Uh, other than that, thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, we appreciate y'all. This concludes episode seven and the bucks. Like I said, we're moving and grooving. Like I said, the quality gonna get better. The audio gonna get better. We getting better today, man. That's the goal. Two time. Shout out to man. Two time fitness up there, in, and uh, what to call it? Uh, uh, Fall River getting it done. Uh, make sure you guys like, comment, share, all right? Subscribe. We need those subscriptions. Subscribe. We need you. We appreciate y'all. Signing out. Spend real. <laughs>